Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Football and welcome to the Prediction Show. Matrix 5 is here. A very quick turnaround from Matrix 4 since this time. There are a couple of uh, midweek games or a full set of midweek games. you love to see it. As always, we will be going through those 10 games. But before that, let's do it as usual. Let's take a look at the results from last week and how I did from uh, this um, past weekend. So I went for Southampton to draw with Man United 1-1. Close, but Man United ended up winning that game 1 0. I went for Crystal Palace losing 3 1 to Man City in the first 20 minutes. It did not look like that. Crystal Palace were winning 2 0, but City did eventually make a comeback. So, correct result there, but not the correct score. I went for Liverpool 3 0 against Bournemouth. I knew they would win big. I did not know they, I did not know they were going to equal the record. What an incredible win for them 9 0. I went for Chelsea to beat 3 2. It was looking very unlikely when Chelsea went down to 10 men, but Leicester have been very poor so far this season. Chelsea ended up winning that game 2-1. I went for Brighton to beat Leeds. I was expecting a more, a more high-scoring game, but it ended up being 1-0 to Brighton. I had gone for 3-2. I went for Brentford to beat Everton. Um, Everton as well almost be winning that game, but ended up being a draw. I went for Arsenal to beat Fulham 3-0, closer than I expected. It ended up being 2-1. I went for Aston Villa to draw with West Ham 1-1. It ended up being a West Ham win 1-0. I was uh, perfect in uh, the Wolves Newcastle game needed a St. Maximin incredible vol in the 19th minute to make that 1-1. One, one. And then I also went for a Tottenham win, 3-1 but it ended up being 2-0. So not bad in terms of that. I also went for Son to score. Was it correct in that one? I went for a total of 28 goals. There were 30 goals. Liverpool scoring almost half of those. That was crazy. So um, better than last week. Um, I only got one correct result. I uh, One correct score last week and um, I think one correct result or something this time. Um, correct in terms of Tottenham. Correct uh, score in terms of Wolves. I expected an Arsenal win, expected a Brighton win, expected a Chelsea win, a Liverpool win, a Man City win, and uh, yeah, that was basically it. I'd gone for Son to score, but didn't really happen. So this week, how are the fixtures looking for this week? As always, let me know your predictions in the comment section, and let's get started. Four games on um, Tuesday, five games on Wednesday, and one game on Thursday. So Crystal Palace Brentford is the first game this week. Uh, Zahal missed the last game with injury. I'm not sure if he's going to be in this one. Uh, Brentford almost losing the game against Everton, but they were attacking relentlessly. I think they hit the post like three times in that game. They were good. Um, Pickford was good as always, uh, but the post was very unkind to them. Um, in this one, it could go either way. Um, this is um, kind of London derby. Crystal Palace could win it. Brentford could win it. It could end up being a draw. All depends on really if the likes of Zaha are there. But I am going to go for Crystal Palace to win this game by two goals to one. Um, a home game. They've looked good so far at home. They lost to Arsenal, yes, but they beat Aston Villa by three goals in their last home game. The next match will be Fulham against Brighton. Another very exciting game. All of Fulham are playing really well and uh, Brighton also playing really well. Both teams in the top six um, right now. I was expecting a high-scoring game between Brighton and um, and Leeds. Maybe we could see it this time. I'm expecting a really, really good game. Mitrovic is scoring goals. Um, Gross is scoring goals at uh, Brighton as well. Whichever team wins here yeah, could be in the especially if Brighton wins here yeah, they have a chance of going top of the table on that Tuesday so I am going to actually go for that I'm going to go for Fulham 2 Brighton 3 expecting Mitrovic to get a couple there and Gross to score again and maybe well back or something so 3 2 2 Brighton next up on that same day is Southampton against Chelsea so, uh, Chelsea a good win for them against Leicester down to 10 men Gallagher almost costing them that goal that game sorry Southampton I mean a bit toothless against Man United they really had a couple they had the opportunities there for them to pick up something from that game um so no home results so far for them losing to my United and drawing against um Leeds they haven't won any home games so far um I don't think they'll win it again um, at all Chelsea got thumped the last time they went away they went away to Leeds and lost 3-0 but this time I actually think they are going to win so Southampton won Chelsea 2 a tight game but Chelsea to win it eventually the last game on Tuesday will be Leeds against Everton now a lot of people are predicting Frank Lampard to be the first manager to be sacked this season it's looking very likely Everton so close to winning their first game against um against Bradford but ended up drawing there were 
bit lucky to be one nil ahead for most of that game. Um, again, unfortunately, Leeds are looking very good, especially at home. They beat Chelsea by three. They scored um, two goals against Wolves. They won both home games this season. And I think they'll make it um, three out of three. Yeah? And the likes of Aronson, the likes of Harrison as well, the likes of Rodrigo looking pretty good. So I am going to go for Leeds two, Everton nil. Another home win there for Leeds United. And then heading to Wednesday, the first game will be Man City against another newly promoted team. The last time they faced one, they scored four goals against Bournemouth. Um, as always, Man City, you expect them to be on fire. Haaland has just scored a hat-trick. I cannot believe people were actually predicting Haaland to do poorly in the Premier League. That is already six goals. He is a top scorer right now, and I'm expecting that to continue. He might be rested, but even if he comes on for two or three minutes, you expect him to score at least a goal. So I am going to go for Man City four. Nottingham Forest nil. Nottingham Forest fixtures have not been kind facing Tottenham and then Man City. Maybe later on when they're facing the mid-table teams at home or lower-end teams, they could win those ones. At the same time, we will have Arsenal against Aston Villa. Aston Villa, as I mentioned before, they've not looked good so far this season. Yes, they did pick out that win against Everton, but apart from that, they've looked very poor, especially away from home. They lost the first game against Bournemouth away from home and they lost to Crystal Palace as, as well. Arsenal top of the table. They've won all four games, and I think that will continue. I am going to go for Arsenal three, Aston Villa one. A lot of pressure on um, Steven Gerrard and Aston Villa there. At the same time, we have another North, uh, another London derby. Sorry, West Ham against Tottenham. West Ham are without a goal. Um, it looked like they were going to finish four games out of four without a goal, but um, that deflected shot from for now has really helped them, and they managed to pick up that win against Aston Villa. Tottenham. I mean, they've not been convincing so far, but they're picking out the points. They've not lost a game yet. Three wins for them. Away from home, they drew with Chelsea last time out in another London derby. And um, West Ham, I, I, they've been a bit shaky this season. And Kane is looking good. He's scoring. I mean, even though he missed a penalty, still got a couple of goals. Son has not picked it up yet. I think this will be the game he picks it up. So I'm going to go for West Ham 1, Tottenham 2. At the same time, there will be a Liverpool Newcastle game. Newcastle, <laughs> Newcastle looking very good. Even when you think they're going to lose, they end up um, getting a draw like they did away at Wolves. They drew that 3 3 with Man City. That was an incredible game as well. Um, I think they'll they lose their first game of the season. Um, they'll lose them for the first time this season. Sorry, Newcastle. Liverpool winning 9 0. It would be incredible if Liverpool won 9 0. And then in the very next game, they lost at home to Newcastle. That would be crazy. I think Salah will repay all the FPL managers that um, captained him last time. I'm going to go for Liverpool 3, Newcastle 1. And then the last game on that Wednesday will be Bournemouth against Wolves. Um, Bournemouth actually won their first home game against Aston Villa, but from there it's been a disaster. They've had to play City, Arsenal and Liverpool and they got thumped in all of those including the record equaling 9-0 against Liverpool. Their confidence will be very short um, but I actually expect them to bounce back. Not with a win, I think they'll be a bit more de they'll try to be a bit more defensively solid and it also helps them that they are facing a Wolves side that really struggles to score. So I'm going to go for Bournemouth 1, Wolves 1 and then the last game on Thursday will be Leicester. The only game on Thursday, Leicester against Man United. Leicester, bottom of the table. Man United have helped themselves to back-to-back -back wins. Um, you might see Casemiro starting in this one, Anthony starting in this one, their new signing. So they will be full of confidence. Um, Leicester City actually have a very good record against Man United recently. They beat them, I think, um, was it home and away last season? I think at Old Trafford, they might have drawn, but at um, King Power, they thumped them by four goals. I think it was four goals to one or two. Um, this time around, though, Leicester looking very shaky. I think they'll get a couple of goals in this one. Vardy up against the likes of um, Ma Martinez. Um, it is going to be a good test for him and Varane. I think Leicester will get a couple. I think my United will pick up three consecutive wins. So I'm going to go for Leicester two. My United three. One player to definitely score. I have gone for Rodrigo of Leeds United against Everton. I think they'll do very well in that game as well. Um, another win for them at home. And then total number of goals. I have gone for 34 goals. A lot of high-scoring games. I predicted five goals in the Man United game. I'm expecting at least four goals in that game of both teams to score. Um, Liverpool expecting them to get at least two goals in that one. West Ham, Tottenham, both teams to score. I'm expecting a high-scoring game in the Arsenal uh, match. Man City could get four, maybe even more. Um, 
Fulham Brighton I'm expecting I'm expecting a high scoring game there as well so it could be a very good midweek of games let me know your predictions which game do you think will have the most goals which player will definitely score this week which game are you looking forward to the most and the total number of goals scored this week match week five bring it on thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next one